So, we are living in a technological era. Children grow up with technologies such as video games, laptops, Bluetooth, etc. Adults enjoy using their own smartphones with Facebook, emails, YouTube. Yeah, you get the gist. In schools, teachers use technology as a tool to help improve their students' outcomes. There is no doubt that technology has been used everywhere and has brought to us a lot of benefits in every single aspect of our lives. So, in education, a very important part of our lives, basically, then what are the benefits of the use of education? And how does it help in teaching and learning? What is technology in education, you ask? Well, technology in education is the use of tools and knowledge to facilitate the learning of students. It is introducing new and modern technological devices such as interactive whiteboards, digital cameras, then there's projectors you see in every single classroom, and numerous educational softwares to the classroom. There are totally a lot of computer applications that enhances learning, some of which you might find familiar. It includes online learning software such as Google Meet, Zoom. Then there's classroom management software such as Schoology and Google Classroom, etc. Student information system software such as WiseNet, Workday, and so on. We all know that teaching is actually a hard work. Correcting tests and assignments by hand takes a lot of time and energy. This is why teachers could really use a helping hand from technology, because technology is a useful tool that, make, that makes teaching become an easier job. Using technological tools, teachers will not have to worry about taking too much time to grade papers or prepare for lessons ever again. There are multiple softwares that save both time and energy for teachers and teachers, such as Canvas Teacher, Gradebook Pro, and etc. It makes lesson planning very easier, and time consumption will be greatly reduced. Presentation softwares are also making teaching easier, as teachers can easily edit and demonstrate their lessons. They can also use this technology to help monitor each of their students' progress using classroom management softwares, as I've mentioned before. Most importantly, technology has helped students, has improved students' access to resources and materials that could potentially help them in the classroom through a variety of images, educational videos, and then there's games, well, you name it. Well, it can show helpful and stimulating examples of a subject matter and it helps students to learn just so much better. Teachers can now make lessons that are connected to the students' needs and interests that makes the lesson more creative and engaging. For example, a, con a lesson about the countries in the world can be demonstrated with an animated and interactive globe. The students who use technology will become more engaged into this subject matter. Well, you want to know why? When schools use a one-to-one -one device initiative, well, the students will be greatly benefited because technology will be more easily integrated into the curriculum. In addition, you may have heard that many tasks in the classroom will involve collaboration, and technology will help it to become a lot easier. It creates an efficient environment where the students can freely communicate and help each other. Easy access to educational resources such as TED.com, Wikipedia, and etc. It helps students to improve their understanding. When students don't know the answer to a question, they can easily find helpful information on the internet. Students can also make choices on what kinds of activities they want to do in lessons. And when teachers can equally support students, then technology can help to create a personalized learning system that can help the students to learn so much better. Hmm, have you ever heard of a term gamification? 
Gamification and learning is an educational approach that creates an addiction to learning. It enhances the learning experience and it makes lessons more fun and engaging. Students can also have choices on whether they want to study real-time learning, with the teachers of course, and learning at their own pace. There are students who can absorb ideas quickly, while there are some others who just take some time to, you know, process all that information in. While this way, students who are confident of their own abilities, they can study and take as much time as they want to process all of those information. They are in full control of what and when they learn. The student's knowledge retention will also increase as there is no stress and time pressure. Well, we all know that every parent always wants their children to be successful in the schools. They always are very curious on how their children is participating in the classroom. But sadly, the only time they'll ever get all of this information is in end of semester meetings. Well, technology can help parents to monitor their children's progress, even if they are not directly in the classroom themselves. Also, parents can use this technology to help support their children in their studies. But in fact, parents sometimes struggle when helping their children in their studies. So, educational apps exist such as Khan Academy, Skillshare, Brilliant. Well, yeah, you know all of that. They have videos with step-by-step -step instructions with a lot of details but they're very easy to understand. Parents can use these videos to understand about their children's subject matter more, and they can demonstrate it way, way easier to the children. There is no doubt that the COVID-19 pandemic has changed education forever, and school closures have disrupted the functioning of the educational system. This is why online learning has become the best alternative solution, well, to sustain education, of course, and it has been implemented in many, many countries. Online learning enables students to study from home safely amid severe lockdowns and social distancing. Although you might have heard that online learning has some disadvantages, but like example, excessive screen time, for the students, or it creates a sense of isolation. But most students would find this online learning effective and exciting more than the actual class itself. But wait, you're missing a really huge advantage here. Because online learning or online education, it trains their students' self-discipline skills such as being organized in the workspace, time management, etc. But most importantly, these skills are really needed for them if they want to achieve success in their future careers. Overall, technology is a really useful tool in education. It supports both teaching and learning effectively. Most students would find learning with technology more fun and easier. And I, I believe that in the future, Technology continues to grow and support education more, and it will become the most important part of our educational system today. Thank you.